Hi everyone, Drini here and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to look at Cryo War because the staking is now available and let's try to see if there's any impact on the charts or and more importantly, what do we do moving forward given the recent global asset market weakness and how do we incorporate that into our Cryo War plans. And let's dive in. So looking at the Cryo War price action right here, one thing to note is in our last video, we did specify that one potential thing that we can do given the bearish phase in a lengthened cycle is we can establish risk thresholds like this. So before we did establish that the 52 cent could be a particular risk threshold. Unfortunately, ever since we established these risk thresholds, cry war has pretty much fallen by 56%. And this is the problem with this type of bear market strategy because the risk threshold is only effective when we know that a turnaround is pretty much imminent. But if we are in a prolonged bear market like this, then this is actually not a viable strategy and we would have to sort of go back to the drawing board just to see what else we can do. So one thing to note about the current cry war action is apart from just it just being a continued downtrend right here is when we map it back to the all-time high right here all the way to where we are now, we have already reached a 95% drawdown since its all-time high of around $4 right here. Now, overall though, this is a pretty good thing because if you notice, once we reach that particular 95% level right here, we are starting to bounce off a particular floor. So is this the bottom of Cryowar? Of course not. But there comes a point where there are certain levels where price eventually just finds support because there's no more room on the downside to go. That doesn't mean though that this is the ultimate floor because of course if Bitcoin capitulates from here then expect Cryowar and the rest of the gaming cryptos and the rest of the altcoins would continue to fall below further. Where could we potentially go though for Cryowar? So the thing to note is you have a 95% drawdown at the moment. Some coins actually reach as much as 99%. So a 99% drawdown if we continue to capitulate would bring us to around four cents so now that we know where we are and where we can potentially go what do we do then moving forward the way we can map out what we can do or our action plan for cryowar really depends on what bitcoin does so if you notice right here we are below our support structure so price action is currently below this level so basically everything is going on a downtrend because we are below this structure as long as we are here below this level any downside action gets magnified when it comes to altcoins. So it's a very tricky proposition to keep investing in a coin like Cryowar at the moment. So there are a couple of things that we can do. The first one is you don't want to be caught up in the middle of this. So if you keep DCAing, for example, and we just continue to capitulate, what you'll end up with is you will end up having no more cash positions when we eventually get to our eventual destination to the downside. Instead, in times like these, it is much better to pay attention to Bitcoin price action. If Bitcoin further capitulates from here and we did establish the levels of around 29k, so wait for a 29k Bitcoin and once we reach 29k Bitcoin or if we see capitulation candles to the downside, this is where you need to check where is Cryowar once Bitcoin reaches this level. If, for example, we reach the four cent level right here, this is pretty much the price level where you need to load up your bags. Otherwise, the most prudent and the most conservative thing to do is wait for the Bitcoin price to be above our weekly EMA structures. Then you have more confidence to say that we are going to bounce back because Bitcoin is already showing the rest of the crypto markets that we are going back on an uptrend. So the cryowar strategy is pretty much twofold. Don't aim for the middle, wait for certainty. So it's either you wait for certainty on the downside where we have a capitulation candle and everything will really go to hell because this is where you can load up your bags in a bear market or you wait for certainty that we are going back on an uptrend. Anything in between, unfortunately, you won't be able to realize your gains as quickly as you would like them to be. If you like that video, hit like and subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you want me to make a video about your favorite gaming crypto? Be a Patreon subscriber so you can request for it. Being a Patreon subscriber helps keep the channel sponsor, shill, and moonboy free. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.